The Digital Human Group is a group, a digital domain that's dedicated to sort of developing brand new technologies around creating the most realistic, photoreal digital humans and creatures. Over the last 10 years, we have been working on facial animation, trying to create the most realistic facial animation for uh, feature films. And the thing that's really started to change in the last few years is just some of the research into sort of deep learning, AI, and something we're sort of very actively involved in. Instead of, let's create a series of face shapes, put them into a rig, then animate the rig, see what the rig can do. You can capture the ways their face automatically moves, that's really them, from a single camera, recreate their face in very, very high resolution, automatically train these systems to recognize, understand, and recreate a face without us having done any decomposition or compression or losing what really makes their amazing performance. And now we're able to do it, you know, not in like weeks or months like before, like now we're able to do it instantaneously. Now it's getting fast enough that we could start to do real time, very highly realistic performing faces, which, which is amazing. Going to Unreal was, it was a bit of a no brainer actually. We looked at the various frameworks were out there. Unreal, Unity, Crytek, and Unreal seemed to have some of the best shading models out there, have really good performance. Once you go to Unreal, you also have a, a tier of platforms that it runs on so that we, we don't have to worry about porting it to something else. We're in constant dialogue with Epic and they're helping us a ton with the, the skin shading models, how to deal with the hair, how to deal with all the little details. We're not done yet. We really do believe soon we'll be able to sort of really match that same quality in real time that we were getting on feature films. I like to think about it as, if I'm interacting with this character, can I tell whether or not this character is lying? If I can see that in the character's eyes and in the character's face, then we've won. We're not there yet, right? We, there's, a, there's a lot of subtlety in the face that we still need to capture. So one of the areas that we're really the most excited about is this whole avenue of virtual production. We've only just started doing some of that on sets where we've been able to sort of in a more offline way, give an actor an example of what their character is going to look like. But this becomes a hugely powerful tool for them because they can really see what their performance is going to look like and how it's going to translate. But now, what if we could do that live and on set with the actors, with the directors and everybody? It's all coming, it's important for people to understand what very, very soon is going to be possible with some of this new technology. I gotta admit that to walk around myself in VR, it's almost philosophically odd. <laughs>